The Pacific Coast bike route is one of the most iconic bike routes in America. And if you haven't ridden the route yet, you have got to add it to your list. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to check out my Pacific Coast bike route video that focuses more on the story of our trip. And I've had a lot of people actually ask me about the logistics of that trip. And so that's why with this video, we are kickstarting a four part series about the logistics of the Pacific Coast bike route. In today's episode, let's talk about the iconic sites that you're gonna see if you ride this bike route in its entirety. Number one, Puget Sound. I'll never forget flying over Puget Sound as our plane approached Bellingham, Washington. I couldn't help but wonder, how are we supposed to ride around all of those little islands? Well, somehow we did. Between Deception Pass State Park, Whidbey Island, and some long ferry rides, Puget Sound had a lot to offer. Number two, the Columbia River in Mount St. Helens. There is nothing like seeing massive ships cruise by you along the Columbia River with snow-capped Mount St. Helens in the distance. You'll never understand how massive these ships are until you see them in person. Number three, the entire Oregon coast. The Oregon coast, need I say more? It's absolutely beautiful. It's like no other coastline you will ever see. It's wild and it seems almost untouched. And once you see humpback whales breaching with wildflowers in the foreground, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Number four, the redwoods. There's nothing more humbling than feeling so tiny amongst the earth's tallest trees, the redwoods. There was a quiet peace I found in the redwoods that I found nowhere else along the Pacific coast. It felt almost sacred. I lost track of time wandering around the giant groves. Number five, the Golden Gate Bridge. As a nature lover, the Golden Gate Bridge surprised me. I was completely mesmerized by this man-made wonder of the modern world. We definitely took our time crossing the bridge so we could take it all in. Number six, Big Sur. Big Sur was incredible. I'm pretty sure I saw shades of blue that I have never seen in nature before. Big Sur alone is a good enough reason to ride this route. I cannot wait to go back. Number seven, the iconic Southern California cities. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little worried about riding through these huge cities. We were pleasantly surprised when we made our way through these amazing cities, almost exclusively using bike lanes and bike paths. We were able to focus on the sites without worrying about the traffic. So if those places aren't enough reason to ride the Pacific Coast bike route, then I don't know what to tell you. Be sure to stay tuned for next week's episode on how I navigated the Pacific Coast bike route. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to check out my other Pacific Coast bike route video that I have posted that focuses more on the story of my trip if you haven't watched it already. And I will see you guys next week.